I, in year 2000, I took my family back to Bialystok. Uh, my father always said that he didn't want to go while he was alive because there was nothing there for him anymore. And he was very right. My father was a very brilliant guy. He knew that there was nothing there for him. There wasn't. But we found, I brought my uh, family after they passed away, um, and my parents passed away, I took them on this trip to Bialystok, and I found the section where we lived, and even, I believe, the house we lived in, a relic then, but nevertheless still standing. What it was, was a, uh, uh, a wooden bungalow. You never used, if there was a front door, I never used it because it was the kitchen door you entered into this large kitchen in the middle of which stood a uh, potbelly stove. And um, the, the kind of wooden shelves where the dishes and stuff would be placed and so forth. Then to the right, you entered a living room that was dominated by a white porcelain um, um, stove, I guess is the way to put it, because it had a latch where you would put in wooden wood to burn, and it was where my baba, which was grandmother, um, would sometimes cook uh, things for dinner. So there was a stove there, but it was all white. That was the white brick-like thing, and it dominated the room, the living room. It wasn't a living It was a dining room with a table and a small couch and chairs. And then there was a bedroom off to the left um, where I had my bed and my parents had theirs. It was all there was to it.